Hello. Welcome to All That Matters Online. I always have to look and make sure I read that right. <laughs> Welcome to All That Matters Online. My name is Michelle. We are up to the heart chakra. And you know what? If this is your first chakra that you're taking out of this series, doesn't matter. I'm just saying we're up to because I started at the bottom. Let me tell you a little bit about the heart. It's about love. Honest to God, it's about love, and that's what I'm going to do. I got this book from a student. It's called When I Loved Myself Enough. Let me just read to you a couple of these so you can kind of feel where we're headed today. Okay. When I loved myself enough, I began to feel a divine presence in me and hear its guidance. I am learning to trust this and live from it. When I loved myself enough, I no longer needed things or people to make me feel safe. When I loved myself enough, my heart became so tender it could welcome joy and sorrow equally. Really the bottom line of this entire book is loving yourself unconditionally. That's where we're headed today. In just 60 minutes, we're gonna make this happen. <laughs> so I'm gonna read from that, but just kind of settle in that. The heart chakra, the color is green, okay? I'm going to lead something called a Brahmari breath, Brahmari breath. So if you would start rotating your shoulders, I'm going to explain it and what I'm hoping that you get out of it at the same time as we do these simple warm-ups. So shoulder rotations. If you don't like the way you're sitting, change it. We're gonna be sitting for a little bit. So if sitting cross-legged is uncomfortable, find a different way to sit, okay? Change directions with the shoulders. But do do this. Brahmari breath translates into bee breath. Bee breath, because we're gonna hum. It's like a, just like a bee. It's based on the idea that when we hum, our entire cells start humming, right? Our entire being starts humming. Go ahead, take your fingertips alongside. This is head and neck. On an exhale, drop chin to chest. Inhale, roll ear to shoulder. Doesn't matter which one. Exhale, drop chin to chest. Inhale, ear to shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. Now continue on like this, just continue breathing. My goal for the Brahmari breath is to let your heart vibrate, okay? I want your heart to vibrate. The theory is, is that when you awaken the cells with sound, the cells vibrate at a higher frequency. With your cells vibrating at a higher frequency, your entire being then vibrates at a higher frequency. Okay. When you're ready, bring your head up to center. Come with me here. Come with me here. Hands over your heart. We're going to start right away. Okay. Inhale, reach and sweep. Now on the way down, go ahead and find a hum. I'm going to lead a hum. You're welcome to follow me if you'd like, but take a hum that you like and close your eyes. No one's looking. Okay. Here we go. Keep your eyes closed. Let your palms rest on your thigh with your palms faced up. Hands on your thighs, palms faced up. Now take a look inside. Where did you feel the vibration? If it was a higher tone, you might have felt it vibrating in your head. And if it was a lower tone, you may have felt it vibrating in your belly. Okay. We're going to take round two of this, and I want you to change the frequency. I'm going to lower mine a little bit because I felt it a little bit in my head. So follow along with me if you'd like, and hopefully it will hit the sweet spot. Hands over your heart. Inhale, reach, and sweep. Here we go. A little lower tone this time. Mm -hmm. Once again, hands on your thighs, palms face up, and pause. <clears throat> Where did you hear that? 
where did you feel that? And I just cleared my throat. <clears throat> All of these pranayama practices, if they start cutting stuff loose, if you feel like you need to cough or to sneeze, please do that, okay? They say it's getting rid of the soot, okay? So if, if by humming you're uprooting some soot in your being, please cough and let it out. Now there's a mudra associated with this. I wanna to talk to you about the mudra, but before we do that, hands over your heart, come with me here. Inhale, reach and sweep. On an exhale, take both hands and frame the left knee and reach out over. The mudra in this Brahmari breath with the full expression of the Brahmari breath, what it's doing is closing the seven holes of your head. The seven holes of your head. <laughs> Come back up to center, inhale, reach and sweep. The seven holes of your head are your eyes, your ears, your nostrils and your mouth. Come up and over the other way, find this little twist. And what I'm going to tell you is that I believe the reason we cover the seven holes is because the seven holes leak joy. The seven holes of our head, I believe, leak joy. What do I mean by that? Take one shoulder back and then the other shoulder back. Your eyes leak joy by looking at a mirror or at looking at other people and start judging. I'm not perfect. That person is prettier than me, right? That person is smarter than me. Your eyes are leaking joy. Your ears can leak joy by hearing bad things about people, listening to gossip or turning on the news, right? Your ears leak joy. Your mouth leaks joy by speaking unkindly. If you haven't changed directions of the shoulders, please do. Or speaking untruths, right? You're leaking joy. And your nose leaks joy. Let me preface this in telling you I do not have a sense of smell, okay? But I do know that the sense of smell is connected to past memories. And so sometimes your nose and those memories of the smell can leak joy because you get mired in the past, okay? So that being said, here we go. This is the Brahmari Mudra. The pinky fingers come to the corners of the mouth to remind yourself to keep your mouth closed. The ring fingers come to the corners of the nostrils, but don't close off your nostrils or you can't breathe. The thumbs are gonna close off the ear flaps to seal those. And the peace fingers, your two peace fingers are going to gently come to your eyelids, right? With your eyes closed, of course. Okay. So either take this mudra or not. If it feels unsafe to you, don't do this. But I'm going to lead one round with the mudra. So the pinkies come to the corner of your mouth. The ring fingers come to the corners of the nose. The thumbs that seal off the ears and the ring fingers are going to seal off the eyes. Okay, just one round and then you're gonna remove your hands. Here we go, take a breath in. Last time when you're done, palms face up on your thighs. How did that feel? What was that like sealing off the seven holes? For the physical practice today, I'm gonna to be focusing on shoulders, okay? In the way to open the heart when we love ourselves enough. I'm also gonna change the language a little bit of this book. She wrote this in the past tense when I loved myself enough. Since I'm working today with you, when I love myself enough, right? Let's move forward, let's stay in the present moment. We're gonna be working on our knees. If you need a blanket or something underneath your knees, please take it. And we're gonna be doing a couple things with some stretches, so if you need blocks for hamstring stretch, please take it, all right? That being said, come to tabletop, come to tabletop. When I love myself enough. Right away, start to think about stuff that you may not love about yourself. This cat and dog is fine here. 
okay? These are gonna be moves that you're familiar with, but I'm gonna try to uh, bring, a, bring a fresh edge to them. <laughs> bring a fresh edge. The idea is for the shoulders and to open the heart. Remember, every time you breathe, your lungs are hugging your heart. Oh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> Here we go, come to neutral. Left hand, left hand slips under. So it's one of these threading the needle, but come with me here. We're moving. Ah. <laughs> Inhale, open it up. See, I wonder why I didn't wear my hair like this before. Exhale, swing it through. We're moving. Inhale, bring it up. Now this time, take the hand and cross it over. So left hand crosses over right, okay? Twist the torso to the right, and you're gonna feel the left side of the body open up. I call this the side heart. <laughs> what joy can you find in the side heart? Let the breath hug your heart. And by the side openers and the twists, it's always easier to feel the breath. Okay, come with me here for the more traditional pose. Inhale, lift the left arm up once again, and now slip it through, okay? Hand and arm near the knee. Now, here you go. I love this little trick. Right hand is gonna come in front of the face. Okay, you with me? Right hand in front of the face, so you can see the thumb. Now, what I'm gonna have you do is isometrically push this hand away, and you may feel a bigger stretch in the left shoulder, yeah? If you have fancy moves here that you like to do, go right ahead. I'm not going to lead that. Feel the breath, hug the heart. When I loved myself enough, I learned to love all the things that disturb me when I look in the mirror. <laughs> nice job. Bring this back up to neutral. We're going to change sides. We're going to change sides. Go ahead, before we change sides, just rotate the hips here. Ooh, now I have the book in front of me. This is my favorite one. When I loved myself enough, I began to accept the unacceptable. I teach people with MS. I do a chair class with them, change directions. And that's a lesson that you don't have to have MS in order to learn, okay? When I loved myself enough, I learned to accept the unacceptable. Do you have anything like that in your life that may ring true? Come to neutral, here we go. The right hand and arm lift up. If you don't like to do this, don't. Slip it through knowing we're gonna move, okay? Here we go, inhale, lift. Exhale, slip it through. Come with me here. Inhale, lift. This time it's right hand comes to the outside of left. You're gonna reach open to the left and feel the right side of the body open up. If this doesn't feel good, if you feel like your elbows are being cranked in some strange, peculiar direction, don't do it. I'm just looking for a side opener in a different shape, okay? Breathe. Hug your heart. Remember the joy of the hum. Good, here we go. Inhale, reach the right arm up. And then here's the more traditional stretch. Hand near the knee. Left hand in front of the face. <laughs> Gotta do that again. In front of the face. <laughs> Isometrically push it away and you're going to feel maybe a bigger stretch in the, in the right shoulder. Now again, people do stuff with the back legs. I'm not leading it that way. Doesn't matter. I want you to be happy. And if this is your second or third time taking this video, then go ahead, start doing something new and different with the pose, okay? Maybe you have a teacher that teaches this a different way. And if you're more comfortable with that, do it that way, all right? Yahoo, here we go. Back to tabletop. Here we go. Walk yourself forward. Ah, come down into your bellies. 
Come all the way down into your belly. Before we do anything, come to Sphinx Pose. Ooh, nice. Good. Legs are active. Sh elbows are underneath the shoulders. I'm leading this with the palms face down and the fingertips wide. Open your heart. Close your eyes just for a moment. Here's a hum. Take a breath in. Mmm. Bring yourself all the way down. Again, this is a familiar pose, all right? Shoulder opener. So bring your arms out to a T. We're gonna start with the right hand and arm. As you roll onto the right shoulder, walk the fingers out, okay? This is what we're gonna do. Left hand stays in front, left leg comes up and behind. Let the head and neck rest. If this hurts your right shoulder, don't do it or change the angle of the arm. But breathe, hug your heart. When I love myself enough, what, what? How are you gonna complete that? Can you hug your heart a little bit more? Allow in a little bit more love. Okay, here we go. Left hand is gonna push down. We're gonna do a couple of things here. Bring the right arm and hand underneath. Left leg now steps in front. The toes are faced toward the edge of the, the big edge of the mat, I don't know, face them this way. And then use the left hand and gently push into the left thigh. Again, if this doesn't feel good, don't do it. If you feel nothing here, you know what? The next pose will come soon enough. <laughs> you can <laughs> make this bigger if you'd like. But notice the lower leg is awake, okay? We're gonna do this crazy pose next. That doesn't look like it should be hard, but somehow it's hard. <laughs> okay, so let's give this a try. So what you're gonna do, left leg stacks on top of right, okay? Now the right arm is gonna go underneath. It's, it's like this long, arrowy kind of thing. Boom. <laughs> So firm it up, have a good time, find a laugh, and then swing yourself forward back into Sphinx. Ah, rest in the Sphinx, but there is no rest. I'm just switching sides. Rest in the Sphinx. Let's play with dolphin, okay, as long as we're here. It's a nice animal, we should play with nice animals. I'm going to lead this with palms face down. If you prefer interlaced fingers for a dolphin, please do that. So start by tucking under your toes, move into plank on your forearms. If this hurts, come right out of it, okay? If you'd like a little bit more, walk your toes forward. This is dolphin. <laughs> Go ahead and bicycle your feet and your knees. There are no pain in your shoulder, no pain, no pain in your shoulders. Arm strengthener, yeah, push into the forearms. Use the strength of your fingertips. If your hands are interlaced, it's a different feel, but you're still getting the strength. Nice job, come to neutral. Drop your knees, drop your knees, and then lower yourself back down to sphinx. Open, exhale, bring this down. Here's the sequence on the second side. Left hand stays where it is. Creep the fingertips out, okay? Roll onto the shoulder. Right hand is gonna stay in front for support. Right leg up and back, kickstand the leg. Breathe. Energize the lower leg. When I loved myself enough, I learned to accept the unacceptable. What would it mean to you to love yourself unconditionally? Would you still have qualifiers? Well, I love everything except whatever. Can you let go of the qualifiers? Good. 
Good, let's play with the second side. The right hand lifts this up, left forearm underneath. Start by bringing the right foot in front and just a gentle pressure here, okay? It's not much, you may not feel anything here or it may be excruciating. It's just a moment in time. So just breathe in and open the heart. Mm -hmm. Find an open heart no matter where you are. Crown of the head reaches away. And then here's this little funny sideline pose. So wake up the bottom leg, top leg is energetically on top. Come into this like little arrowy thing. <laughs> Good, stretch and breathe and balance. Yes. And then one last time, Cobra. I mean, Sphinx. Good, come back down into Sphinx. Go ahead, tuck your toes under, lift yourself up into plank on your forearms, lift to the butt and walk yourself up into dolphin. Straighten your arms. Ooh, that was fun. And then walk your hands back to your feet. Okay, walk your hands back to your feet. Find a sweet hang here. Go ahead and just find the hang upside down. Upside down. This is such a great little book. When I loved myself enough, I saw beyond right and wrong and became neutral. At first I thought this was indifference. Now I see the clarity that comes with neutrality. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, here we go. Lift yourself up, roll yourself up to a stand. Before we go any further, I have a fun little vinyasa that we're gonna take. This is how we're gonna do it. Inhale, arms out to a T, okay? Exhale, the hands cross at the belly. I think I've led this before, but we're gonna do it again. Inhale, arms out to a T. Exhale, the hands come to the lower back. Inhale to a T. Now exhale, this is a modified eagle, okay? So elbows come together, hands come together. Inhale, T. Exhale, hands come behind the heart. Inhale, T. Exhale, overhead. Now do this. Inhale, reach the head into the hands. You feel that? And then exhale, dive forward and down, fly forward and down, nice job. Inhale, lengthen flat back, hands on shins. Exhale, plant your hands, step the right foot back. Now here is where you're gonna need blocks if you'd like, because we're just gonna do hamstring pulses here, okay? So take your time, get the blocks if you'd like them. And then here we go. Inhale, straighten left leg. Exhale, bend. Good, very simple here, just find the breath, inhale, and exhale. Good, find the inhale to hold. Inhale, hold the breath. Breathe into the back of the leg. When I love myself enough, I accepted that I'm not that flexible. <laughs> For sure. Simple. Just find the breath, find the stretch. Here we go, take a breath in. On the exhale, bend left knee, step right foot up to meet the left. Inhale, lengthen flat back. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, come all the way up, reach and sweep. Exhale, hands to your heart. Here we go. Inhale, open. Exhale, belly. Nice. Inhale, open, shoulders. Exhale, hands to the low back. Inhale, open. Exhale, modified eagle arms. Inhale, open. Exhale, hands come behind the heart. Inhale, open. Exhale, hands overhead. This is my favorite part. Inhale, reach up with the crown of the head. And then exhale, fly forward and down. Nice job, heart to thighs, head and neck relax. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. 
Exhale, fold and half step the left foot back. Right? Simple here, just getting the hamstrings warmed up. Here we go. Inhale, straighten right leg. And then exhale, bend. Couple more like that. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale, find the stretch to hold. Hold the stretch. When I loved myself enough, I no longer needed things or people to make me feel safe. It's about unconditionally loving yourself. That's what the heart chakra means to me today. Unconditionally loving myself. Let's move, take a breath in. On the exhale, bend right knee, step left foot up to meet right. Inhale, lengthen flat back. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, come all the way up, reach and sweep. Exhale, dive, let's go. Forward and down we go, beautiful. Inhale, lengthen flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step yourself back to table, tabletop. Here we go again. <laughs> Isn't that a song? Here we go again. Okay. <laughs> Left knee. Wait, let me think about this. Doesn't matter. Left knee steps forward. Yeah. So, well, the left knee doesn't step. The left foot steps forward. Okay. Bring yourself up to a sit, stand, a kneel. Gosh. Right hip over right knee. Okay. So we're not too much of a stretch here. Come with me. Hands over your heart. Inhale, reach and sweep. Figure out which one is your left hand, okay? Left hand is gonna reach back to right thigh. <laughs> this might be a really laughing moment for some people. Maybe like, Ugh. so somewhere in this area, <laughs> okay? Right arm and hand is gonna take a stretch. Side heart here, side heart. <laughs> somewhere, maybe even the left thigh is where this hand is going. I'm just looking for a little heart opener. And so if it, if it hurts your heart to try to reach the right thigh, then don't do that. Breathe and breathe. Right? Hug the heart with your lungs. Okay? Engage your belly here. Inhale, left hand comes up to meet the right. Exhale, take the hands down, frame the foot. Come with me. Either step the left foot forward or the right knee back or both. So now you're in this stretch. Okay, makes sense? This is where you need the cushion under your knees in case you didn't know this. Here we go, all the way up. Inhale, reach and sweep. Same sequence. Left hand, right thigh. Right arm opens up. If you find the breath greatly diminished, back off of the pose, right? That breath cue is your body telling you you've gone too far. So find a place where you can hug your heart with the breath. That's where you're gonna get the benefit. Make sense? Wow. Here we go, engage the belly. Left hand comes up to meet the right. Bring the hands down, frame the front foot. Let's take a vinyasa here, tuck under right toes. Step left foot back to meet the right. But surprise, it's all about the dolphin today. Come all the way down into your forearms. Pause. Pause. I need to get. Stay. Don't move. I just need to get the other battery because that one is blinking. Oh, it's about to run out. We screwed up. You're good. You're good. good. <laughs> so. Was it because we killed so much time? No. Um. Someone forgot to charge it. Okay. That's me. That's me. Of course not. Yeah. All right, go. When it dies, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna quickly change it, and then we're gonna. Start well, how right about there. if if I just finish this and then we pause right there and then change okay. the battery? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Yep. What was I doing? Oh, I remember. Dolphin. Okay, I remember. Dolphin. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Lift up into plank on your forearms. Walk the feet forward. 
Now, this move was so much fun, we're gonna try it again. So just move up onto your hands. Find a regular downward dog. Take a breath in, soften your knees. And on an exhale, walk up to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, fold in half heart to thighs. Inhale, come all the way up, reach and sweep, palms touch. Exhale, hands over your heart. Second side. Inhale, reach and sweep. On an exhale, fold forward and down, heart to thighs. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands and move yourself back to tabletop. Okay? Second side. Second side. Right leg, yeah, right leg steps forward. Okay? Left hip over left knee. Okay? Same sequence on the second side. If you feel wobbly, like I just started wobbling, what you do is you just move your right foot to the right a little bit. You create a wider base. There is not a woman I know that says she needs a wider base. <laughs> but here's the time. <laughs> Hands over your heart. <laughs> Inhale, reach and sweep. Right hand to the left thigh, okay? And then open the left side body. Again, this hand can be anywhere in this, in this vicinity. <laughs> it's just the idea of hanging on to something so that when you stretch the left side of the body, you're not dangling, right? It's always good to be grounded. Now it's important here, engage the belly. Inhale, right hand comes up to meet the left. And then exhale, take the hands down. Okay. Separate the feet here. Right foot steps forward, left knee goes back. So you're in sort of a lizardy shape, lizardy shape. And then here we go. Inhale, bring yourself up. Same thing, right hand, left thigh, left hand reaches open and take the stretch here, take the stretch. When I loved myself enough. What I'd like you to do is create a sheath of unconditional love for yourself, a sheath, and try it on. Go ahead and try that on right now. In this pose, <laughs> perfect. Here we go, let's move. Engage your belly, inhale, reach and sweep. Exhale, the hands frame the front foot. No vinyasa here, left toes tuck under, take a breath in. And on an exhale, step up to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, fold in half, heart to thighs. Inhale, all the way up, reach, unsweet palms, touch. Exhale, hands to your heart. Okay, here we go. Inhale to a T. Exhale, cross over your heart. Inhale, T. Exhale, hands to the lower back. Inhale, T, these are eagle arms. This time, right arm under left, okay, and then pause here. I like to call this the opening up the back heart, the back heart. To me, the back heart represents the past, right? The parts of our past that we don't love unconditionally but you have put on a sheath of unconditional love. How does it fit? How does it feel? Let's move. Inhale, undo, big T. Exhale, hands behind the heart. Inhale, T. Exhale, hands overhead. Inhale, push the head up into the hands, and then exhale, fly forward and down. Nice. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. I'm switching sides. Nope, I'm not. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, wait, hold on. Let's do that again. Inhale, reach and sweep. Exhale, fold forward and down. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. Yeah, this is right. Exhale, plant your hand, step the left foot back. Sorry about that. Okay, this is Crescent Toe Warrior. 
Again, wide base. <laughs> Don't let anyone tell you a wide base isn't great, okay? Wide base, bring yourself all the way up. Here we go, inhale. Okay, the same thing, but now we're, but now we're standing up. If this is too much, drop the left knee, and it's the exact same pose, all right? Right hand reaches back to left thigh. Open left side of body. We were just here, but now the balance is a little bit more. When I love myself enough, I know that I can't balance, but I still like to try. <laughs> breathe and breathe, hug your heart. Mm -hmm. Engage your belly. Inhale, right hand sweeps up. Check this out. Left hand to the inside of right foot. Here's a twist. Oh yeah, good. Let this go. Where is your gaze here? Either down at your toes, okay? Or up at your thumbs. It's always nice to keep the gaze recycling in your body, okay? You wanna recycle your energy so you look at your body. Let's move. Take a breath in. On the exhale, the hands come down. Left foot steps up to meet the right. Inhale, lengthen flat back. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, all the way up, reach and sweep. Exhale, hands to your heart. Come with me here. Inhale, T. Exhale, belly. Inhale, T. Exhale, lower back. Inhale, T. This is going to be eagle on the second side. So left arm under right. And if I goof that up, just take the second side. Pause here. Pause here. Wearing the sheath of unconditional love. Forgive the past. Love everything about the past. There's a Star Trek Next Generation episode where Captain Picard undoes the stuff in his life that he doesn't like, and he was never the captain. And it's so great. It's such a yogic moment. Here we go. Inhale, undo, reach, and sweep. Exhale, hands behind your heart. So love your past. It's what makes you this today. Inhale. Exhale, overhead. Here we go to the second side. Inhale, reach up. I just love so fun. Exhale, fly forward and down, heart to thighs. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. On an exhale, plant your hands. Step the right foot back. Step the right foot back. Widen your base, left foot to the left. <laughs> okay, enough of the wide base jokes, huh? Lift yourself back up, good, all the way. This is Crescent to Warrior. Again, if this doesn't feel good, drop the back knee. Left hand to the right thigh, right hand up and over. It's the same pose, but different. Breathe. And breathe. Engage your belly. Inhale, left hand comes up to meet the right. Come with me. Right hand to the inside of left foot. Here's the twist. Crown of the head reaches up. Find the gaze that you're recycling your energy. Right? So down at your toes or up at the thumb. Belly is strong. Let the breath hug your heart. Take a breath in. On the exhale, the hand comes down, frame the left foot. Step the right foot up to meet the left. Inhale, lengthen flat back. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, come all the way up, reach and sweep, palms touch. 
Exhale, hands to your heart. I would be remiss if we didn't do the full eagle pose here. <laughs> I would be remiss, I say. <laughs> Check this out. This is going to be so fun. I'm really excited about this. Balance on your left leg. Okay, Right leg crosses over. Start here. Start with the right toes touching. Okay, If you know this pose, go ahead. You can like do a headstand in it. Right arm under left. Only if it feels okay, lift up the right toes. And yeah, you can get that bind thing. I, ugh, it kind of hurts my knees when I do that. So just breathe here. Hug your heart. When I love myself enough. <laughs> now we are going to unwind this into warrior two. Mm. Left knee stays bent. Unwind the arms, lift up the left leg, and swing this open. Bam! So there. <laughs> nice job. Warrior two. Gaze over the fingers. Pause. The sheath of unconditional love. Feel it now settle into the cracks in between your fingers. Straighten left leg, turn left toes toward me, your impressorita legs, okay? Let's hum, hands over your heart. Take a breath in, reach and sweep, here's the hum. Inhale, arms out to a T. Exhale, hands to top of the thighs. Take a breath in, and then exhale, hinge forward and down. We're not staying. Oh, bummer. <laughs> Inhale, lift yourself back up. <laughs> what was the point of that? Come to back to the top of your mat. So step up to the top of your mat. I'm a little bit confused, like where you would be. But, you know, you just come to the top. That's right. You don't have to worry about lefts and rights. Here we go. Balance on the second side. Bend right knee, left leg crosses over, left leg touches, left toes touch, left arm under right. If it feels okay, lift up left toes. You can take whatever you want here. There's a forward fold you can do. You can, I don't know what else you can do, but you can do whatever you want. I'm staying right here. <laughs> Breathe. Here we go. Unlace the arms. Right leg stays bent. Left leg comes up and over. Warrior two. Bam. Nice. That was fun. Pause in the warrior two. Perfect. Easy. Easy. When I love myself enough, I separate my feet a little bit more in warrior two. <laughs> Unless I have an injury, then I don't do that. What's it going to take to love yourself enough? Here we go. Inhale, straighten right leg. Turn right toes toward me. This is Prasari to C. Interlace your hands. Very expected. Up, up, up. Over, over, over. Now, have I, have I told you guys, I may have, I forget, that the point of this pose is to get your interlaced hands on the floor on the other side? Yeah, yeah. I know one person that could do that. You like go really wide and you have to have like wicked shoulders and somehow, yeah. So, so don't do that. <laughs> Just telling you like back in the day, the teachers used to like come and push our arms. To, oh, don't do that. Oh, just hang upside down here. <laughs> Let the head and the neck go. 
Yeah. <laughs> Look up old yoga journal pictures. You'll find some. Good. Let's move here. Inhale, bent knees or straight legs. Bring yourself up to a stand. Exhale, hands to top of thighs. Take a breath in, five-pointed star. Exhale, step up to the top of the mat. To the floor we go. Inhale, reach out, sweep. Exhale, fold forward and down, heart to thighs. Inhale, extend, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step yourself back here in high plank. One more round of the dolphins. Drop your knees, come to your forearms. Change the hand position if you'd like. Check out the other one, okay? So if you've always done one, try the other one. Lift the knees, plank on your forearms. Walk your feet forward, a little dolphin. Please, no pain in your shoulders. Please, no pain in your shoulders. Shoulder pain is not invited to this party, ever. Shoulder pain is never invited. But a hugging breath is always welcome. Nice job. Drop your knees. Slip yourself into child here. Slip yourself into child. Take a child that makes sense. Sometimes when I have a backache, it feels better to make your knees go wide. True story. Sometimes it feels better when your hands are up front. But today this feels good, a little cocoon. Let today's child be today's child and don't worry about tomorrow's child. Good, and then let's move. Let's move. Come on to your backs. Come on to your backs. This is what we're going to do. A nice, they say, a, a heart opener is a bridge pose. So I'm going to lead rolling bridges and then a bridge variation, okay? So if you would, feet by your butt palms alongside your body. Here we go, rolling bridges. On an inhale, lift the hips up to your neck. I do a lot of these. Exhale, roll it down. Because they're so therapeutic. Am I right? At the bottom, if you add a little like tucky wucky, oh, so nice. And then inhale, take one or more of those. And then exhale, lower it down. That's what we're calling them this week, tucky wuckies apparently. <laughs> Good. Let's take the bridge and hold it. So lift your hips up. Walk the shoulders under. Interlace your hands. Again, this is the traditional way. If you have a different way, please take it. That doesn't hurt. I like to look at the ceiling. The reason for that is it keeps the curve in my neck. The intention here is chest to the chin, not chin to the chest. Chest to the chin, not chin to the chest. The upper arms are working, okay? If you can breathe and hug your heart, you're doing it right. If you can't breathe, <laughs> then don't do that. That's perfect. Slip yourself out of this, untuck the shoulders, roll yourself back down. Okay, now here's the variation. You're going to take Baddha Konasana legs and feet, okay? So the soles of the feet are, are together and the outside edges of the feet are on the mat. Hands, once again, are palm down, okay? You're looking up at the ceiling. Or if you're outside, you're looking at the sky. That's nice. And then here you go. You're going to lift your hips. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, lower down. Now, I'm, only, I'm going to only lead a few of these as you inhale and exhale, but if you find these intriguing, I encourage you in your spare time to do, you know, 25 of them. 
<laughs> because they're kind of fun. <laughs> I'm just leading a couple. Okay, last one here. Up and down. And then take the full rest in Baddha Konasana. Take, yeah, let the legs go and settle. If this doesn't feel good on your legs, prop them with blocks or cushions or whatever you have handy. Dogs or cats work very well. That was a joke. Okay. <laughs> Hug your heart when I love myself enough. Good, here we go. Knees come together. Okay, give yourself a hug. I've been watching Pilates videos, and this is this is a move that I got in a Pilates video, so I hope you like it. <laughs> I think it's kind of fun. <laughs> so it's a good time. This is what you're gonna do. It's it's bicycles with with a roll. <laughs> so hands behind your head, okay? Bicycles with roll. First of all, I'm going to lead it this way. Lengthen right leg, right elbow to left knee. Okay, that's your inhale, okay? On an exhale, knees together. So take this, don't go side to side. Inhale, elbow to knee. Exhale, bring it back to center, okay? Couple more like that, inhale. Exhale. Slow. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, now here you go. Here's the roll part of this. What you're going to do is elbow to knee, but then roll onto the left hip. Yeah. And then bring this back to center. Exhale, switch and roll. Inhale, center. Little extra, little oblique action here. Exhale, roll. I'm always looking out for bikini season. <laughs> Nelson. And then one more of these of roll. A little wobbly. Inhale, center. Nice job. And then let this all go. Let this all go. If you would, lengthen your legs long. Lengthen arms long. Take a big stretch. For the twist today, I'm going to be leading eagle legs since we've been all eagle all day. So if you'd like, if you'd like to take that, please do. Otherwise, take a twist of your liking. Here we go. Start with right leg crossing over left. Twist open to the left. Right arm extends to the right. Let your heart, let your lungs hug your heart. Let's find a couple more of these. In the twist. When I loved myself enough, I began feeling such relief. Oh, isn't it great? Can you feel the sheen of unconditional love seeping into your pores? And do these little sayings, do they mean a little bit more? I hope so. Here we go. When I loved myself enough, I began seeing the abuse in trying to force something or someone who isn't ready, including me. They're so good. When I loved myself enough, I stopped blaming myself for choices I had made, which made me feel safe, and I took responsibility for them. Come back to yourself one more time. When I loved myself enough, Very simply change directions of the twist. Left leg crosses over, right twist up and over to the right. Left arm extends. Here, if you would, close your eyes. The color of the heart chakra is green. In this pose, go ahead and visualize a green emanating from your entire being, right? 
especially from the heart center, if that makes sense. But if you feel green energy seeping out of your fingertips, let that be right. Let that be good. And then in the spirit of recycling, as you emanate that green energy, use the breath and take it right back in through your nose. Recycle your energy of love. And love yourself enough to do it. Nice job, come back to center. Good. This is where I'm going to, I'm going to stop leading poses. <laughs> if you feel something has been missed, please take it. If you're ready to lengthen into Shvasana, take it. Always options include putting a block or a prop underneath your hips for a supported bridge. Maybe move your legs up against the wall. Maybe today's the day you take Shavasana on your side with a full body pillow. That sounds kind of nice. <laughs> I'm setting my timer for five minutes. Let yourself complete the practice in a way that feels good and makes sense. And we'll come back together with a bow.
keeping your eyes closed. Breathe in the green energy of love and continue to wear the sheath of unconditional love for yourself. Let it fit seamlessly with all of the clothes that you own. And then find some small movements here. And when you're ready, draw your knees up into your chest. One big last hug. Roll onto your right side if you're not already there. Pause. Eyes are closed, head is heavy. Let this moment be enough. And when you're ready, come to a sit. Find a sit, we're gonna do one more hum here, just to seal it off completely. When you're ready, hands over your heart. Inhale, reach and sweep, last one. Thumbs to the third eye. I bow to you, my friends. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a really fabulous day.